Islamic France is the best France. And in today's episode, I will show you three reasons. Why is Islam the best religion for this country? Personally, my favorite reason is the second one, but you should like the first or third reason. In addition, I will show you how to come to Islam without rebels. I wonder why nobody plays France like that. Quoi? Hello guys, Lucas here. I can see the comments now. But Lucas, why are you recording France when France will be changed in the next expansion? It's totally pointless to record such a guide. Dear viewer, I am recording this because it is France that will be changed. Uh, and to be honest, now I have time to play with this country. And when the new expansion comes out, I'll probably play with the new France tree. Gilly gilly gilly. I will play the very beginning a bit standard for France, but as rivals, I choose countries that are rivals of Burgundy because I'm lucky and I don't have it on my rival. So, I will try to improve my relationship with her. Have her in the alliance and try to take over her entire territory in the Burgundy event. And as you can see, it's huge. Who does this Burgundy hate? Aragon? Venice? England? England! That's very good, because I hate England too! I may not like Aragon either, sad Aragon. And this time I'm not playing for HRE, so we may not like the Austrian either. It means more or less that I insult England right from the start. I offend her a lot. I'm sending one of our diplomats. Let him improve relations with Burgundy right away. And let the other one get us an alliance with Castile, because we will need it. It's even very... One relationship over the limit is not much. Okay, there will be two. As France, we have a few cheaper advisors at the beginning. Administrative advisor, for sure. Stability costs will be useful to us reduced. We have a diplomatic advisor, cheaper to improve relations. If you need it, let's take a diplomatic reputation one, but rather not. And the military. I want to say that we will make a mission. But we don't have professionalism and we need to declare war very quickly. So unfortunately, we will have a level one. With discipline. We're giving all the points privileges. At the beginning, we will have some problems with our vassals, but we'll deal with it very quickly. After all, we have a special privilege, French strong duchies, which will probably be even more strengthened in the new patch. Then we pick up the land and attention. We're not granting any more privileges at the moment. Because we're about to have a war with England, we'll reclaim a lot of land. If the state's influence is small, the more land will come back to us. So you know what? I'm not even clicking this mission right now. The list is somewhere on Wikipedia. It looks more or less like this. I probably won't need fleets for the first war, so I'm mothballing it. We move our army at once. One to Labor. And let's have a second army here in the north with our great commanders. Oh, of course I forgot about Provence. We break our alliance with it. We don't need it. As for Scotland, if you plan to conquer all of England, it's worth having an alliance with it. I obviously don't plan to do that, so I'm revoking my warranty. Well, at least I don't plan on doing it anytime soon. And by quickly, I mean the first 10 years of gameplay. And on December 12th, France goes to war. About Maine! Yes, I want to go to reconquest Cassius Bellies and don't wait for this stupid event because that's wrong. And that Portugal doesn't have any alliance yet, then I call it separately. We probably won't need Castilia. Let our vassals besiege. Let them lie and they root manpower on the fortresses. But beware, you must first send your commander with siege. And most importantly, to be close if the English get stuck in this army somewhere. Come on! I just unpause! At least it's not Jean Beron, who is a Cossack in the siege. What bad luck! Although I take back what I said. We will need the fleet, because I want to conquer this one province. We need it very much. Oh, that's what I was talking about. We defend ourselves, we defend ourselves, before other bots come to lay siege to this province. Perhaps we will also need the papacy. That is why we want to improve relations with them. The more positive relations we have with the Pope, the faster papacy influence grows. Besides, we have the Notre Dame Cathedral, and that's before it burned down, huh? Yes, not very funny, never mind. And so we have yearly papal influence plus one. So as France, we have a pretty good chance of being at least the new Pope. Oh great, this fortress has fallen, so let's replace our army. Let the better siege fly north. Well, unless the English come here to get the whips out. By the way, let's remember to burn this one province. Wow, great minister, I want more of these. And that is the greatest luck we can have. England have a weak ruler, an heir to the throne, which is average. Ha, I don't need my state's help, I'll be fine alone. And see, I just improved the relationship to the max. We have two rivals in common, a royal mariage is going to Burgundy. And remember this, it must always be on your part to Burgundy. Don't take from it, and the alliance will enter with them right after this war. If your opponent divides armies like this, it's the best thing he can do. We destroy his armies one by one. Uh, luckily it's flat here. Oh yes, the English. They never learn. I will not finish this English army. I will not finish it, but I will finish. All right, let's go besiege Kyoto. Why can't I pass here? I am giving you passage and you are not giving me. 
and we destroy the Portuguese army and great. So we're going to besiege Cuta. And here we are doing a fast carpet siege. From Portugal we get one province, money, lots of money. And we take a lot of money from England, all our continental provinces and war reparations. I could do more, but I prefer war reparations anyway. Bloody war. Really, Burgundy? And they also broke off my royal marriage, what a But of course their prince had to die, well without and immediately Prince Alekonor wants his lands back, and then we'll lose a core on it. Normally, I would always say no to him, but let him be this time. All in all, I want to have as little of my land as possible at the beginning. And frankly, I won't be picking up anything else anytime soon. In Europe, I mean in Catholic Europe. Oh, sure. Because the Sunni part is what intrigues me so much, which is almost the majority of Africa. And look, after the war, 8% of the crown land returned to us. And now we can give away the remaining privileges. I go with cheaper advisors. <laughs> I want to have more Pope influence. We can also complete our missions related to the recapture of given territories. Ooh, how nice. And we ended the Hundred Years' War. Ah, it's always so cool. I can feel the reward. We will pay off all my debt. And so we stay positive stability. I wanted an alliance with the papacy, but they have a war with Ottoman. We'll take after this war, so as not to be drawn in. We pin newly acquired territories to states. We'll want to upgrade trade here, of course. So, we also core them. And I introduce all three technologies first in the world. Cool! Let's great! Oh. Okay, let the vassals go to this war, I don't have time. But I can finally have an alliance with Burgundy, here it is! By the way, let's set one diplomat to improve relations with our vassals. Where were they? And since we already have technologies ahead, well, of course we want to develop trade centers in each of these provinces. And Calais as soon as it's core. Well, the tournament is useful to us even a lot. Oh, come on. Why did they give me these provinces? Huh? All right, let's build the fleet. We need a lot of galleys, but also some heavy ships. I think we have four in total. So one regular and one will be our command ship. More galleys, give more galleys. Oh, okay. I'm going to have to fight more wars soon anyway. Uh, so we're recruiting a free company. Well, it's high time to end this war with Aragon. Because I forgot to give some guarantees here for a certain province of Ibadi. And Tunis can probably convert it at any time. But how is White Peace? No! Well, it's time to start a slightly bigger war. Just let the fleet come to me here. Alright, we're taking Granada first. There are Sunni provinces here too, so I need them. Well, plus we have a nice monument to conquer. I love how opponents are afraid to hit me, even at minus two. Because I'm technologically ahead of them, right? And actually, I have to do some other things here. Okay, let one diplomat improve our relations. But the second must improve relations with the Ottoman Empire. I'm about to have a lot of aggressive expansion here. These rebels couldn't have picked a worse time to respawn. I mean, it's actually very good for me. And I kind of forgot that I don't want to have points focused on diplomatic points right now. I'll need a lot, but that's a lot of admin points. Okay, excommunication went to Provence. I know I wasn't supposed to conquer for myself, but I will. We attack about Anjou. Hardly anyone you know won't conquer Anjou for himself, right? It's in the middle of my country. Ha 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 ha, 55th, 55th. To be honest, I haven't had such a luck in a long time. I wish I was playing for the Holy Roman Empire right now. Well, I don't play. Now there is the Burgundian crisis. Damn, it would be nice to end this war and make an alliance. Against the Emperor, for he will surely declare war on me. Oh, maybe an alliance with Osman. Hmm. All Burgundy is ours. Oh, Jesus. And now what? Spain has broken its alliance with me. Hard. All right, Provence conquered, Granada captured. Now we must attack Tunis and get at least this province from them. I know you hate me for this, but I really like taking taxes in the first era. Manpower can be taken in the next one, possibly professionalism. This is very good. Well, but look at how much France earns from taxes. Yeah. Oh, what a nice opportunity. And we're destroying the army of Tunis. Bye bye, thank you. And as I said, from Tunis, I take only this one province, plus gold. Why? Because there's a Ibadi religion here, and I want to keep it safe just in case. Now let's go save our Burgundy from the HRE Emperor. We take technology forward. You know what? I'm actually going to take up the loans. Yes, I could have done it earlier. Never mind. Yes, I take such strange borders from Morocco in order to have these fortresses here from him. Unfortunately, this one would go to Castile, so I'm not taking it this time. Some money, war, reparations, and most importantly, gold mine. Oh my god, these borders look hideous, even with this color. Well, we conquered the first gold mine outside of Europe. Increased production for 100 years by 50%. Always fun. And anyway, Russia can have it too. Like any other European country that gets its first gold mine. What is going on here? It's not often you see Scotland conquering England. I'm doing something crazy. I'm going straight to Vienna. In order to besiege it, we'll get the whole army too. Ah, 
Unfortunately, the Iberian wedding has taken place. I mean, nothing bad happened at all. I knew Castile would hate me after this war. Fortunately, we have greener friends. <laughs> well, Vienna has fallen, as these fortresses here will soon fall too. Then we end this war with our victory. Always something, right? Okay, it's time to go suppress the riots, because there will be a lot of them. Now, now you give me a champion. Although, sure, six in maneuvers. Six in maneuvers. Really? Do I want another war from the Union on the Milan? Probably blah blah blah. No. Okay, I'm making some space here. As for the fortresses, I have way too many of them. And I'm about to go bankrupt because of them. How many of these riots are coming to me? Alright, I can finally get some more ideas. And our first ideas. No, you think wrong. I don't take diplomatic to conquer more. I take innovative. But why? You'll see later, although you should have noticed it by now, we are temporarily moving our capital of commerce to English Channel. Ultimately, I'd rather like to collect in Genoa. Yes, definitely. A good change. Yes, I still need face Ting. Oh, we will judge Joanna of Arc again. And now we acquit her. We get 10 prestige points. Faceting. I love this event. Pfft. No, you will think I'm cheating on my campaigns. She really was born. But I haven't had a 666 ruler in a long time. Even though she's a woman, I'm happy. End of my truce with Tunis. And let me tell you honestly, I was sure that Ottoman would be my opponent. And yet, no, I'm really glad. Oh, Provence will show up, how nice. I make my first strike in Morocco to take this country out of the war and attack him in five years. Oh, I literally annihilate their army. Hey, just so that the Burgundians don't attribute wins to themselves. First era perk, and let me tell you frankly, aggressive expansion, I have nothing to think about here. I can't. This is the third time. You know what's best? She just grew up, literally a moment ago, and my king is dead. To make way for her, I like this hunting accident. Well, to be honest, I thought it would be worse. And this whole coast I can take. And I don't even make fun of a big aggressive expansion. Hmm. Okay, we need to take some privilege. Clergy is our weakest estate. So let's take a governing here. We'll do a mission. We will take back the land. But we're not selling it yet. Well, the successor at least is not good. Osman, you were supposed to help. And you're calling for some stupid wars. Unnecessary to anyone. I love these events where I have to plunder my own cities. Really. I finally take the first reason why I chose this idea and this religion for France because it would lower the cost of technology by 10% and here similar technology cost by 10% and you will also see some bonuses from religion we're going to war with Morocco and we will eat Algiers too since they have an alliance with Tunis then I will be able to reset trusses between these two countries yeah I'm purging rebels by the way mm, that's what I wanted to do yes all right my rebels all right destroy the army of Tunis what are your favorite ideas in France? You can let me know what are your favorites for France. Because honestly, I have another very favorite set. Well, Osman do something. But why did I come back then? We take the following land of Morocco. Yes, we want to cut them off from the sea. So I still have ugly borders. There's still that sus here. Hmm, still not enough. And is there a majority? Because look as the fool forgot something. Oh, nothing. On the test game, I had to conquer all the Maghreb. So we will see. That's what hurts me the most. That unfortunately, we have a reduced production of our gold. As a result, half of the penalty for ooh, religious differences. But why did they break the alliance? No! Second era development. To be honest, I have no idea what to take second here. And let's take war. Tax, always a good choice. How many vassals do I have? And personal union. And everything. Uh, I like it. Admittedly, I would probably do it anyway uh, through Provence. Because claims are one thing. But province reconquest is another thing. Charles, you are literally half of your mother, literally. Okay, this will be one of the last wars with Tunisia. Yes, this will be one of the last wars, although this country is still too big. But we'll leave two provinces for them. I hope that's enough of these provinces for me. Because if it turns out, my idea won't go a bit over the top. Four hours of back recording. This is good, very good. Oh, there are people here in the desert, wow. Have you seen the new deserts in Victory 3, by the way? They're really cool, the added birds. Yeah, more dessert for us. But first, I will develop the technology. I definitely want a second idea to develop. And of course, to innovation. I'm a big fan of offensive ideas because we get siege speed plus 10%. In total, we would have 30%. Discipline, larger troop limit, and stronger commanders. A very strong combination. Although I am tempted here for some reasons to follow aristocratic ideas. Because again, cheaper technology, doing costs, Manpower increased, which will also be very important to us. And I'm also considering aristocratic here. But still, I love the offensive ideas in this set that I will go in. Meanwhile, on the islands, Scotland ends England.
Mm, that's quite normal. Nothing bad happens here. And now they have taken an alliance. Now, then I think I know what other Sunni country will be our destination. Okay, third reform. And I will say that here I will exceptionally take this one for vassals. I'm not sure if this is an effective reform or not. I've never taken it before. So this is totally testing. Normally I would go for reform, which gives us either even more tax income because it's really strong. We will increase income by 50%. We will accelerate the reform of our governments. It's very strong too. Or going to centralize our states. It's still pretty good despite the nerf. Especially if we play toll and don't raise too much. Half a ducat more. Well, I wouldn't say it's worth it. But I'm curious and I need to test it sometime. Such a build for vassals. This reform, just what country? Do you have any suggestions? Let me know in the comment. Alright, let's get to building our country. And we go production first. Especially on the better ones. Ooh, I have sugar. Well, let's look at the size first. And in our case, we also have some certain provinces, which is worth doing for the taxis. But not too much, I think up to this level. It's time to go to war with the Mamluks. And to be honest, I'm flying with the help of Osman. It will be much faster. And Burgundy crusade me against Mamluk. How nice of them. Why didn't they do it earlier? And more taxis. But someone will tell me soon that I think taxis are a great modifier to earn money in this game. And all in all it is, but only in the first era. In each subsequent one, no. And much more important is production, and trade becomes the most important. Yeah, for the first era. He was just thinking of the era of discovery, if anything. Simple war. Okay, looks like it. That we already have enough provinces. 62% here. And I even messed up a bit. Because Sunnism is 63% of us. Oops. Look as you moron. I forgot about the second condition, which is necessary here. That is the transfer of the capital to the Islamic province. And now, if you want to have an Ibadi religion in your country as main religion, well, to this Ibadi province. And if you want Sunnism, well, to the province with Sunnism, well, let's move on to Ibadi for now and see what we decided. Yes, we can change our main religion to Ibadi, which is what I'm doing right now. This is how it improves relations with all Sunni countries in the world. And we can choose any school. I just love Ibadi from that angle because he gives us any Islamic school to choose from. What is such a strong bonus? That's why it's worth switching France to Ibadi religions. We can choose any modifier at this point. Overall, Ibadi is the best branch of Islam, at least in this game, because every province in France has an increased goods production modifier by 10%. We have only have this one Ibadi province, so with no religious ideas, that's honestly easy overkill for our country. But we get the Himi state. We wouldn't have gotten this in previous patches. As a Western European nation, but we may have had it for some time. I'm just saying, my country's problem is that it would explode. And that's my little advice. If you are planning to follow the Ibadi religion, take religious, quantity and trade ideas. Especially on the next patch, if you're doing that. Actually, this is the second reason. And my favorite crossing was just on Ibadi as Fran. And let me tell you honestly, it will. That you will get a 50% increase in production. And that's a lot. Well, that's why, unfortunately, he converts to ordinary Sunnism. Yes? And here we take ourselves, well, or aggressive expansion. If we want to conquer a lot, or if we want to play toll, well, it's development. I'm going into aggressive expansion. And it's interesting, because I didn't have this decision in anybody. Ha! Huh, maybe it's just because it's been set up by default for me now. Never mind. And of course, on the Himi, we want to have as many privileges as possible. Which give us tolerance in our provinces. Uh, with that, I have to wait a while. And I think we could use an extra merchant to make more money. Although I am also tempted by this development, I admit that would be pretty cool too. What extra profit would you take here? And of course, it moved my capital of trade as well. Or not! Wait, I messed something up. Never mind. And you see, now we have total religious tolerance in our country. It's the Catholic provinces that's so cool, that now they will have greatly increased income from taxes. And as soon as we put up that next privilege, we will increase very, very much. Our manpower by 20%, 516, and all in all it's hard. 596? So little? Well, it was supposed to be the third thing so cool about this religion, but maybe it didn't work out. Never mind. But from now on, we can start eating our vassals, and we'd rather have peace of mind for 20 years now, because we still have a chance to integrate Burgundy, which we have on a personal union. You know, for free. There's an event that happens if you don't fight wars for 20 years, up to 1510 at most. You have a chance to get all this land for free. And now, 
Yes, on our religion, we want to necessarily collect legalism because we get technology costs reduced by 10% and increased manpower plus 20%. Then, of course, we can burn him for lowering corruption and take money for it. Because why not? Especially if we are not planning to introduce technology at the moment. And that's actually very cool. In France, we have 10% of national ideas, 10% from innovative ideas, 10% for legalism. And if Dichimi gets 60% here and 60% minimum, we also get 10% cheaper technology. Or 5%, I never remember. Besides, there's a nice monument here for another minus 10% of technology. And of course, being behind in technology, you steal technology from your neighbors. It means that we can introduce technology in France very cheaply. Very. Plus, anyone who plays France knows that the south of this country, this is manpower. Literally every single province here is a manpower. And the rest of the campaign would be to secure the area so that we can collect trade in Genoa. Well, because I don't have much to send to the English channel. If you like such episodes from collecting certain modifiers, I recommend watching this episode of Papal State, where I collected minus 90% reduction of aggressive expansion, which allowed me to conquer all of Italy very quickly. Plus, there's going to be a weird sequel here.